Yo, so this is the Wi-Fi AC, which is my laptop. Supports that it has a chip in it, and I'm on my own network right now, and I have a shared folder over this network. Uh, this is just a test to see how good is five gigahertz Wi-Fi band better than 2.4. So this is five gigahertz speed while transferring two heavy files that is an Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop at the same time. Both of them I'm going to copy it. This is the drive for this is the shared folder from the other PC. And this is the laptop, which is over 5 gigahertz only. Not to, not mix band 2.4 and 5. No, it's just one 5 gigahertz. So let's try and see. Let's see the speed of receiving. How much is going to be? This is going to shock you. I'm telling you. Look at that. 184. Megabytes per second. 190. 200. Not 200? Come on. Okay, let's try today. Oh, yes, it's 200. So you can see the amount of the O2 fought. Oh, wow. Uh, this is amazing. And look at the speed. It's transferring over Wi Fi. This speed is 223 megabytes per second. You can see over here. This is almost equal to a hard drive, an external hard drive, HDD. You know, the speed. Not, not an SSD. SSD will just go more than um, 200 or so. So you can see the magic of 5 gigahertz. Instead of, if you go for one uh, 2.4, it's going to look horrible. <laughs> and it's going to take another, another few hours, or half an hour or so more it might take. This is just going to take around a minute. So this is the benefit of 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And yeah, that's all for today. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed and this, this, this is something to be thought about, you know. And, but I can't explain it, but once you see it right now that you have seen, you can understand the speed of its transfers. It's amazing. Just look at that. So don't forget to subscribe, like and comment below what you thought about this video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe. Till then, take it. Stay safe.